a trying video and it has been a while so today i actually have a lot of snacks from thailand like actually from thailand itself so previously we did a thai snack video as well but we got them actually from a local thai supermarket at golden mile but this time around these snacks are actually from wow. thailand because my brother went to thailand recently and he actually packed a full luggage of snacks all the way back so most of the snacks here i haven't seen them locally so i can't wait to try them let's the first two we have here is this chicken drumstick looking snack. I actually tried this one before and I really 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 like this. Barbecue Korean and seaweed biscuit. But this one right here is actually a collaboration between two amazing snack brands in Thailand. So it's a Dokwa brand collaboration with Bento. Bento is this dried cuttlefish thing. Okay, I'm just going to try this, the original one first. I don't know if I try it. The same flavor one. Eh? Ooh, see? Yeah, so it's just like little, little orange drumstick. It's so cute, right? And it's also filled with powder. That means it's going to be very good. Mmm. Wow, the powder is so nice. Eh? The whole packaging, right, is filled with powder, as you can see. To be honest, right, it tastes nothing like Korean seaweed barbecue. It tastes a bit like like a less sour, more salty version of Tom Yum. Huh? Now that we have tried this, let's try the other, the cross collaboration flavour. Anyway, I really, really love the bento, this cutterfish boy here. The moment I open it, right, it straight up smells like this cutterfish. Like, it's a huge whiff of the cutterfish smell. It's like sh more sugar coated instead of being powdered all around, you know? Very fragrant but very spicy. It's super... Wow. Wow. I would very much prefer the normal one, honestly. It is very spicy. It is very nice still. <coughs> I'm sick. Okay, next up we have this fish snack. It feels like it's very, very little inside. I would guess that it's a 80% air. It looks really, very light. -like. So this one is a fish meat snack. It is like the... You know, the cod fish that we like and this one is the fried version. So it is dried. I am excited because I love, love, love this fish meat snack. This red one is the barbecue flavour and the yellow one is the spicy flavour. You wouldn't know because it's yellow and it looks like it's harmless. Oh my god, I'm not even kidding by how little it is inside. Look at this. What? So it is like that cute triangle shape. The fish meat itself is flavoured barbecue. Very nice. The normal codfish fish meat, the soft one, right? If you pop it in the oven, right, it will become like that. See so what's the difference? I think this is the original flavour, eh? There's no spice in it. Not me, okay? It really like spicy flavour here. Okay, since we are at the fish snack, so this is also the Taro brand fish snack just now. We have three of them here. So the black one, wow, I see one like the Japanese art, all oh, very nice, huh? Also, apparently this one is also a collaboration with something. Wow. In collaboration with Pronto. I don't know what Pronto is. And this is a limited edition design. Maybe after I eat this, I can frame it up. Oh no! <laughs> Show you ramen, the black one. The white one here is salmon aburi flavoured. And then we also have a odd one out here. This is also from the Taro Seafood Snack brand. This one is actually a fish meat roll, so it's kind of like the bubblegum tape, you know. You're holding glasses, I realise. Aha! Okay, let me try this black one first. Oh my god, it smells so nice, eh. It's like there's gravy coated on top of the fish snack. Wow! Oh my god, the flavour is damn strong eh. You know, usually the taro seafood, the fish meat snack, right? The flavour is always inside of the thing, so they don't powder it or they don't coat it with gravy or something like that. This one is actually coated, it's like glazed. Wow, it's super, super flavourful. Like, it hits you. Mm, very nice. But uh, there's a downside to this. It is very sweet. Because it's whole like glazed and I need a break after this four, four pieces of this. Salmon aburi flavour. That means there's going to be some smokiness inside this, right? This is also glazed, see? But also super flavourful. But this one got like a weird taste to it. I think it's that aburi flavour that they are trying to add in. So it's a little bit smoky, but not in the like smoked salmon way. It's in the joss stick 
way, but it is oddly satisfying at the same time. Okay, the next one we're gonna try is pret. As you know, Thailand is always filled with a lot of different nice flavors of pret. And this one right here, it's pret harvest. I've never seen this before. I think this is quite new to me. And these two are just nice. Bobby's favorite flavor. Wow, that's quite a tongue twister right there. Let's try it. I've never seen it. I wonder how it tastes like. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells like apple juice! Wow. So this one also, it's flavoured stick itself. There's no like glaze or powder or whatnot. There is powder outside, a little bit, and it's sour sour. Oh my god, it's quite interesting there. Eh? It really tastes like apple. It's like apple juice on the stick. I'm mind blown by this. Eh? It's a whole stick that tastes like apple. It tastes more like apple juice. Which is also apple, you know? <laughs> Oh my god, Bobby can eat or not? I think he will like it. <laughs> okay, now this one is the sweet potato. It's like the purple potato. Oh, it's a purple stick. Oh, it smells like... It smells like potato also, eh. <gasps> the potato taste is very, very strong. It's like the really like... You know, if you go to Korea and you drink the uh, kokuma latte, which is a sweet potato latte, it tastes exactly like that. But it's milder than this apple. And it tastes healthy also. You don't feel so guilty. So lastly, we have two chips from Lay's because how can we go about this without Lay's? And this one is a Kempelin Roll Mayonnaise Onigiri flavoured chips. This is only available at 7-Eleven. It's like a collaboration. 7-Eleven always got the onigiri, right? So that's basically the 7-Eleven onigiri. And then we have Wagyu stick flavour. Wow. Actually, the first whiff smells like prawn. Huh? And it's like seaweed chips because there are seaweed flakes on it. Surprisingly, it tastes exactly like what it is. <laughs> you can actually taste the mayonnaise inside. But I have to say that the chips is quite underwhelming. Oh, it's no. nice though. There's nothing much for me to explain about this. <laughs> it tastes exactly like how it looks. Okay, let's try the Wagyu stick flavor one. It smells so nice eh. Wow, it smells like a bakery. You know, like a pastry. There's a pastry taste. Pastry smell to it. Moment of truth. Oh my god, it's really very good leh. I don't know how to explain this, but the moment you put this in your mouth, right, there's this like whiff of the Wagyu stick flavour. I wouldn't say specifically Wagyu stick flavour, but it's like a stick flavour. And there's this smokiness, barbecue stick in your mouth. Oh, this is very, very good eh. Good stuff. Alright, so that's it for today's Trying Thai Snacks. I didn't actually try all of them. I still have a few of them lying around, but I feel like I've tried enough for today. And they're all really, really good. I don't think I have one specific one that I can say I don't like. Everything, I like them equally. Favourite one out of all has to be maybe this one, the Wagyu stick one. Okay, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if there's anything that you would like me to try, please comment down below. And I'll see all of you very, very soon again.